Welcome to this film in which I will show you what to think about when you make a text file for the Statistics Explorer. Here I have a sheet full of data, but I will start by taking some of the data away to make the picture a bit more clear. I delete these ones. I have a column here with the names of the regions I want to work with and I also have a column with codes. These codes is the regional IDs. These IDs must be the same as the IDs used in the DBF file we talked about in the other film. There is one thing to think of when it comes to IDs and that is that in Excel if I should have a region with the ID 01 instead of 101, Excel takes away the zero and uh, so that will be wrong because the DBF file reads the regional ID as 01 and Excel takes this as just being a 1. That means that if to get this right you have to format these columns and I choose format cells and I change so that Excel reads what written in the cells as text and then I press OK. So if I now write 01 Excel takes it as 01 and not as just a 1. I change that back. The rest of the columns here contains data. To help Explorer to see which columns that contains data and which columns that should be read as text, we have a field here called parse type. And over each column that contains data, I need to put in an F. And I do this for all the columns that contains data, and the ones that does not contain data, I put an S over. The top field is META and here I write the names of the indicators up here. Over each column I have the name of the indicator. This is persons 15 to 25 years for example. I write the name over the areas and I write code over the codes. The next field is the ID field and here I put reg ID over the IDs or the codes for regions. I put name over the names of the regions. And then I put a unique ID over every indicator. If I want to group some of these, I can use the same ID for several indicators if I want them to belong to the same group but otherwise I should have a unique ID for every indicator here. These fields are compulsory. I have to have parser type, I have to have ID and I have to have meta. But then you can have other fields as well. The description field, here you can write a longer description of the indicator. The unit is used for putting in percent, for example, or inhabitants, or whatever. We want to have number here, and in Swedish that's called antal, and that's the unit that we are using for all ours here. Precision. Here you can write the number of decimals you want to use. So you write the number of decimals over each of these ones. Could be one, could be zero, or whatever you want. And the last one is captured. Captured is when you captured the data. This data is from 2009, and so are the rest. So I can just put in the year when we captured the data, like that. If you have data over several years, you should use slice instead of captured. This one should be changed. Here you see I've changed to slice and here I've written 2005, 
the next one is 2006, next one 2007, and so on. If you use slice, then you want to show the same indicator changing over year. And then it's very important that the ID is exactly the same from year to year. Here you put in the value for region 1, Kungsladegård, year 1. In the next cell you put the value for region 1, year 2, region 1, year 3, and so on. So most of it is the same for a single year indicator or if you want to put in data for several years for the same indicator. If you have data over several years you should use one spreadsheet. If you have the other type where you have you can have a lot of indicators in the same sheet. So when you have completed everything and everything is filled in, you have to save what you have done. I click here and I choose Save As. I do not want Excel to save this file as an XLSX file. So I click here and I choose Unicode Text. And when I'm ready, I just take Save and Excel will warn me and say that I will lose some of the functionality but that's okay, just answer yes. And then you have your TXT file that you can use to make your Explorer application. Good luck!